Hello friends, very good afternoon. I am myself, Dr. M.H. Chennaya, your tutor in the subject engineering drawing. In this video, wherein we have been given with different and top views, that, that is called the orthographic views of a simple block with some protrusion on the top surface and a rectangular cutout in the center. And friends, we are required to draw the isometric drawing utilizing these two views, the front view and top view. Now friends, basically in all this isometric projection or isometric drawing or isometric view, we are going to see or find out or analyze what are the maximum dimensions. Here in the front view, we can see length 70, height 40. Top view width is equal to 15. So friends, we are going to construct a box or a prism like thing with utilizing these dimensions. So friends, I will just mark here a line, a reference line. From there, I will mark these two lengths. That is one is 70, other is equal to 50. So this is 30, sorry, this dimension is 30 and this is 70 and I am going to complete this box. So friends, after completion of this box, you can see here friends, that there are projections at the top and before that let me mark the height. Height is equal to 20 plus 20, 40, so slightly bigger than this. So this is 40 from here. So this is 40, 40 from this corner, 40 from this corner and again 40 from this corner. Okay. We are drawn this line. We will connect the ends now. So this is 40, this is also 40 and if you join them by a straight line fence, here you are going to get a box. So this edge is parallel. Similarly, here friends in the front view, I am going to draw another line parallel to the base and remember these are at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal, this line and this line. And again friends from here, I am going to try line parallel to this and again join this. So this is how we construct the box friends. Length is 70, width is 30 and the height of this is given to be 40 millimeter. Height is 20 plus 20, 40 mm. This is the first step every one of you should do in this drawing. Now friends, if you observe the print view, the total height is divided into two parts. There is a platform. This represents a platform to at a height of 20 mm. So what I do, I will just take the midpoint of this and draw a line parallel to that on both the sides to represent the platform I showed you. Again, I will just draw lines parallel to the edges and again a line joining these two. So this is the last line. So I am joining like that. That friends, this height is 20, this is also 20. 20, 20. All are 20. Height is 20, width is 30 and the length of is 70. Now friends, let us take, let us observe the figure, the front and top view and see what you have. Above this platform friends, if you see the top view, there is a square prism like thing above the platform which has got dimension 15 by 15 and height is equal to 20. So friends, that is in the right corner. So what I do, I will just take exactly the midpoint because this has to be 15. Again 15 this side. And then I am going to complete like this. So friends, this box what I have constructed here is having the dimension 15 by 15. This is 15, this is 15 and height is equal to how much that you can see in the print width is 20. So friends, now I will darken this top part, top face. Same, darkening that, darkening this. 
so this is this part which has got a height of 20 so friends from there i will draw vertical lines through all this one vertical line here and the vertical line here and i am going to join it so friends if you see this figure this is the square prism 15 by 15 and height is 20 so remember this is 20 so friends since it is in the print so we don't see this line here so i will remove that line so you have got to complete this vertical line this complete line is visible in the print view a vertical line bottom line can also be completed and here friends this height this line also can be completed so friends we can complete this part also so this is what we have so this portion this is a top plate for which is completed and again on the diagonally opposite corner you have 10 by 10 10 by 10 square prism of height 20 so friends here what we do we will mark 10 by 10 here 10 this side and 10 this side the square prism at the diagonally opposite corner and we will just project all this line downwards so friends this you can have this so I completed this square prism this is having height is equal to 20 this cross section 10 this is also 10 now friends after completing that so we have completed this prism and this prism this part is over now I have to show a through slot having dimension 30 by 10 that is cut along this 20 millimeter block so what is to be done friends that is exactly in the center you can see so center of this 70 center of this 30 so exactly from here I should mark this dimension and this dimension friends before that since you have got lot of lines coming here it is better we remove some of these construction lines so that construction or completion of the problem becomes easy so what I do friends just observe I will remove this line this line this line so you can see a square prism or the rectangle prism on this end this line can also be removed so friends I have removed this line similarly these lines are not required if you want they can be retained but they have to be shown by very thin lines even this is not required so I will remove all these unwanted lines to make the drawing beautiful so friends I have completely removed all these so this is one rectangular prism and this is a square prism and diagonally opposite corner now let us complete the top face of this the top face is I have to complete this line and from here I should write a line a line through that because I have to locate the center of this so I have made a line like this and exactly from that 20 whatever the height you have got you have to just join and this is a top face and the top face can be darkened now this is how the top face appears this top face is this top face and friends now you will have to locate the center of this top face and show that slot so exactly in the center of this and here in the center of this we have to make that slot by drawing lines parallel so like this something like this so here this is going to be 30 parallel to 70 means 15 on either side you should take and then this is 10 5 on either side 5 5 and 10 friends we will complete this box and this is how this slot will have the dimension and I have to darken that using visible lines so this is the 
rectangular slot of dimension 30 by 10 wherein that 30 is parallel to the last edge and this is 10 which is perpendicular to the length. Now friends, this will become a slot only when you draw a line through this because if you write a line through this vertically you don't see that here also you don't see here you don't see but from here if you are writing a line downward parallel to this parallel to one of these vertical edges we are going to have a slot here friends this is how we have converted the given orthographic views that is the print and top views of a simple block with two projections on the platform, one in the print and the other in the diagonally opposite corner. So friends, this plot is made exactly in the center and this is how the isometric drawings are made from the given orthographic views. In the same problem, if you are asked to draw the isometric projection, then friends, you have to reduce all these by 18.5, that is 18.5 percent. That is to say, whatever the dimensions you have got, if you are required to draw the isometric projection, multiply all these dimensions by 0.815 and utilize them in the same way to obtain the orthogram, sorry, the isometric drawing or uh, sorry, isometric projection of the component. Friends, please go through the complete video and if you like the video, do share it with all your friends and in case if you have not subscribed to my channel till now please subscribe today itself and friends remember my youtube channel link that is engineering drawing by dr m h annaya has got more than 200 plus videos on the subject engineering drawing or engineering graphics which is also called as engineering visualization and friends if you go through all these I am very sure that none of you will fail in engineering drawing we have varieties and varieties of problems on our chapters thank you friends have a wonderful day